Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Walk Through Wednesday. Now, I've just recorded a little bit of this. It's my Afterlife remix, uh, as you can probably tell by the title. Um, but I've been having problems with my uh, <laughs> shock, shock horror. The the Apollo Twin. It's it is working now, but there will be times when it will just go dead silent. So I assume during this episode, if it's you know past 15, 20 minutes, it will do the same. Um, so maybe I have to restart my laptop and then just try and edit it better. But let's, fingers crossed, hope it works. I will try and get through it as quick as possible. Um, before I get into it, the remix is from Big Moo, probably the, the greatest name in EDM. Um, he's called Sean and he's been a part of the, the Patreon squad for a long time now. So shout out to him for asking me to remix his track. Love the original, it's out on Dematic's label Cinematic. Um, please go and support your boy uh, and grab his remix, uh, his original track, and also if you want to buy my track, uh, my remix, you can do that as well. Uh, but more importantly, go and support him. Um, he gave me this opportunity to remix this track, and I, I think it's a really sick track. So let's jump into the project. Fingers crossed it all works fine. So basically, it's 150. It's a bit EDM, bit hard side trance, kind of hard style elements in there as well. Uh, I wanted to get my own sound in there, but also keep the original vibe of the original track. Uh, before I do jump into to the actual project, the new sample pack, which drops, I believe, on the 31st, that one is going to be based around this, so you'll be able to get the sounds from this, the kicks, everything like that, the side trance bass. Um, but if you do want the rave room construction kit, you only have like a couple of days to get that. So please go and get it because once it goes from the side, it's gone forever. That's the beauty of it. These are super exclusive things for my, my biggest supporters, basically. So let's start with the first drop. I'll actually play you both drops to see so you can see the difference. Basically, I want to mix it up a little bit. <laughs> So it's quite a messy project, um, obviously, because it's me. Uh, but you get the idea, you get what I was trying to do there. Like, this second drop is a lot of the kind of sound I'm playing in my own sets. Like, these really hard, big drops, 150 BPM, crazy energy. And the first drop is kind of my old style mixed with that style. So I wanted to get the drop leads in, because, you know, this is, this is big room to me. But then we've got, like, the hard style kick. So it was a nice blend, you know, EDM, hard style, uh, big room and hard style kind of blend. So let's go into the leads. Um, quite a standard lead, I would say. It's nothing super unique, but it was just, it, it worked for this song, I think. Um, it's kind of a, not a cheesy melody, but one of those really catchy melodies, you know, the Timmy Trumpet style. Um, one of those really chant, chant style melodies, I would say, so you can get away with using a more basic lead as, as long as it has that power so let's go through the individual sounds so i didn't use these contact originally i originally i had this um it's it was so weird to pitch like the the notes wouldn't play the exact things but um it was a, like a indian sound a sitar from contact um I actually did that remix and Sean said, you know, that I prefer to hear an EDM lead. And he was right. I, I was just trying to be too unique. So then I looked into my Nexus sounds and tried to find um, a kind of the cheesy style of EDM lead. So this isn't the main one. Yeah, I would say this one is probably the main sound. Got like a nice saturation on the lead as well so then i found all these backup layers and if you've watched these videos you know how i approach that <laughs> 